Hello Will and GX, it's really lovely to be with you again today. I'm sorry that I can't see you face to face and I look forward to a time when perhaps later in the year we can do that. It was lovely to catch up with Mrs Corley last week and to hear the things that are happening both in school and out of school to keep some of your learning going. So well done, you are doing such a good job in really strange times. We thought for a few weeks about some of the stories around Easter about when Jesus died on the cross and rose again. And we're going to move now to a different time in Jesus' life. We're going to move to the time when he was alive and he was teaching people. He would go around and talk to them. There were lots of miracles when he would heal people. And we're going to think about two stories today with Jesus and his friends, his disciples. And both of those stories involve water. There are quite a lot of stories in the Bible that involve water, but we're just going to think about two of those this morning. I wonder where you would go if you wanted a bit of time and peace and quiet. I'm really fortunate. In our house, I've got a study. It's a place where I can go and work and I can also think and pray there. Perhaps you've got a space in the garden that you love going to. Perhaps your own bedroom is the place where you like to be. Well, Jesus took time away. He took time away from people because a lot of his ministry, a lot of his time of teaching and preaching and healing was spent looking after lots of people and caring for them. So he would take time away. He would have some time where he'd go and pray and talk to his father. And one of these stories comes just after that. And we find ourselves at one of the lakes. And Jesus was in a boat. It might have been a bit more sturdy than this, but this is quite a well-made boat. And Jesus was in that boat and he was asleep. His friends and disciples were around and about him in the boat. They were probably talking about the things that were happening. They were chatting, maybe just talking about the things of the day like you do with your friends. And Jesus was sleeping on a cushion. Everything was really peaceful and really calm in this scene. And then suddenly, I don't know if you were part of it this week, you you heard the thunder, saw the lightning and the rain just coming down really quickly. That came across this lake really quickly. And this boat with Jesus and the disciples started to be tossed and turned around. Now you might want to make some noise, you might want to do a bit of pitter patter for the rain. And do a bit of wind noise to hear all the noise that was around this boat. Now I wonder how you'd feel if you were in this boat at this time. I think I might be a little bit worried. I've not done very many boat trips. We used to get on the boat from Southampton and go across to Guernsey. And every time we did it, the the boat did this really. I didn't enjoy any of the journeys, but this is a really big storm on the lake. The disciples, Jesus' friends, were starting to get more and more worried about things. But Jesus, carried on sleeping in the middle of the boat. The disciples started to get a little bit cross. They were thinking to each other, why is he not waking up and helping us? Eventually, the disciples woke Jesus up. Remember, we had the rain, we've got the wind whistling around and the sea was churning this boat just up and down. It's getting really choppy. And so they woke Jesus up. I wonder what you think Jesus might have done at that point. And Jesus stood up in the boat. He told all the winds to calm, the rains to stop, and the storm to finish being a storm. And everything suddenly became really still again on that lake. Those disciples, those friends of Jesus, were really surprised. They were really amazed. And they asked each other, who is this person that can do this in the boat with us? They've seen Jesus do a lot of amazing things. But here they saw him stilling all the different parts of the weather that were making them so worried and making the boat toss and turn. And so in this story, we know that for the disciples, they were worried. They were afraid. They were in the middle of a storm and they were wondering what would happen to them. Jesus wasn't worried. He was very calm, he carried on sleeping because he trusted in God to keep him safe. So that's our first story. 
And I wonder how you're feeling today. Perhaps you're feeling a little bit worried about some of the things that are going on today. Perhaps you're really enjoying if you're in school seeing your friends again. Perhaps if you're at home, you're enjoying doing some of the learning that's being put out for you. You're enjoying maybe a bit more time on the TV or one of your games. So today you might be feeling many different things. And however you're feeling today, that is okay. And it's really important that we share how we feel with other people. I think I've told you before that I've got the most amazing set of friends who listen to me when I talk to them about things and they tell me about their lives as well. But what is really important that we know as well is that we can talk to God. And we do that usually at the end of assembly when we pray. We can do that anywhere. I can do it in my study. You can do it in your garden. You can do it in school, which you do anyway. But if we're a bit worried about things, then it's a really great time to just tell God how we're feeling and know that if Jesus calmed that storm, that God is with us in everything and every place and every situation we find ourselves in. So we're going to look at one other story. I'm going to bring in two more boats. Oh, that's not a very good one there, is it? Never mind. And Jesus' friends were out on the boat. They were doing some of the things they did. We've talked about the fact that they were fishermen and they were going fishing. And suddenly, as they were in their boat, again, probably talking about the things that were going on that day, they saw this person coming to them across the water. Now, this is a little bit surprising. I don't know if you've been on a boat before, if you've been to the beach. You don't normally see people walking across the sea, do you? I haven't done anyway. And so again, these friends got a little bit scared. They were wondering, who is this person and what am I seeing? Now, I'm thinking that you can probably guess who this person is from all the stories that we've had before. But yes, this person that they saw coming towards them was Jesus. He was walking across the surface of the water. How amazing is that? And we have Jesus' friends in the boat. Today they're maybe not so worried. They might be a bit scared when they saw this person walking across the water, but they're not quite so worried. And one of Jesus' disciples is Peter. And I've talked to you about Peter before because I think Peter is just fantastic because he gets things right in one breath and then he gets them wrong in the next breath, like we all do. And Peter said to Jesus, he said, I want to walk on water and walk to you. And so Jesus, who was on the water still and Peter was in the boat, put out his arm to Peter and said, come. I wonder what you would have done in this situation. Would you have stayed in that boat or would you have got out and walked on this sea? Thankfully, the sea was quite calm on this day. Peter stood up in the boat. He looked at Jesus in the eyes. He looked at his hand being held out towards him and he got out and he walked to Jesus. Well, I say he walked to Jesus. This is Peter and he got things wrong. Well, he was looking at Jesus and focusing on him and seeing him and seeing that arm outstretched. He was absolutely fine. He walked across the water and he got a little way across. But suddenly all those things that we do as humans, as people, we suddenly get a bit worried, a bit scared about what we're doing. He took his eyes off Jesus and looked away and he started to fall into the water at this point. He was fine because Jesus was there, put out his arm to him and lifted him up and they went back to the boat again. So one thing to do this week, if you are a little bit worried about things, perhaps is to focus on Jesus. We know a lot about who Jesus was. We know the amazing things that he did. We have, as I said at the beginning, been thinking in our assemblies about how Jesus died and rose again. If we fix our eyes on Jesus and try to be like he was, looking out for other people, caring for others in the way that we can at this time, it's not in the way we normally would do. But if we keep ourselves focused on Jesus, then we can keep ourselves walking forward and putting one step in front of the other. I love both of these stories. And I wonder what they've meant to you today. What has come into your head as you've been thinking about them? Perhaps you can chat with someone in your class or at home after this and just think a little bit about that. But as we think about these stories, we're going to pray together. 
you might want to put your hands together or in your laps you might want to close your eyes loving god we thank you for these wonderful stories these stories that remind us that you are always there with us whether we're going through really happy times or really difficult times at the moment we can always talk to you and tell you the things that are going on in our lives and you always hear what we say when we are worried or scared you reach out your hand to us and you help us to walk towards you knowing that you are a good and a loving god so in this week help us to know that you love each one of us that you care about us and help us to show that love and that care to each other amen i hope that you enjoy the rest of this week like me you might be looking forward to a time where you can go back to seeing some water maybe to the beach i know we've got the great lakes around us to walk around um, but i love the beach as you think of these stories this week as you go into this week just remember that god is always with us those stories about jesus calming the storm holding his hand out to peter to help him and just keep your eyes on him this week have a great week and stay safe and i look forward to seeing you again soon bye